This is the channel where we learn from some of our favorite artists together. My name is Liza Quinn. Today we are back at it with Putri Ariani, whom I checked out after her Golden Buzzer performance. I cannot believe I hadn't heard her before. In this video, she's performing Bohemian Rhapsody, so make sure you stick around to the end. I'll give you my first impressions as usual during, and at the end, I'll try to find some valuable takeaways for us that we can learn from. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Anyway, the wind blows, Just kill a man Put a gun against his head Put my trick and now he's dead Nice Mama Life had just begun But now I'm gonna throw it all away Mama Didn't mean to make you cry If I'm not back again this time tomorrow As if nothing really matters. So far, absolutely gorgeous execution. What I love about Butri is how much she connects. She takes you on that emotional ride from note one and you just, whoop, you're hooked and I'm already hooked. We'll get into a little bit more of some of the beautiful technical things she's doing, but I love her phrasing. I love her straightforward approach. And like I said, the emotion, it's just, it's all there. Too late. Mm. My time has come. Saint Shiva's down my spine. Body's aching all the time. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. Just gotta get out, just gotta get right out of here. Okay, there's still a little bit more of this. We're gonna back it up a hair, but ah. Uh, okay, so this tone right here, first of all, as it builds into this, I don't wanna die. She opens up so that you get a little bit more of that chest vibration right here. And I'll show you real quick. Goodbye, everybody. Woo. Everybody. I love that. Oh, it's so nicely executed. Very effortless, but that goodbye. So she sort of lets it drag behind the groove and gives it this like warmth, this extra bass in it just a little bit, which is contrasting to this part over here. The it's got a little bit more bass in it there too, but it's already starting to get more mid-rangey. I love how she does the truth, that attitude right there. And then... Mama. Yes, it's a cry, which is exactly how you want to approach that. What we would say in Spanish, un, un llanto, right? This cry out. And that emotion really draws you in. That beautiful voice crack. Sometimes wish I never been born at all. Starts getting a little bit more mid rangey, a little bit more twangy. Oh, baby. Yes, and then right in there, the emotion flips, it pulls back in. She gives you space on the piano, 
and gives you breath. The sweetness there. Last line again. Nothing yes. So there's a little, right? That little cry at the top. And then the phrasing where she decides to keep it straight, right? No vibrato. Let that sort of rise and fall and kind of lay behind the groove. It's free. Nothing really matters. Woo. And then letting it fall into the, so it kind of falls into the mouth there. To me. Gives it a little bit of that R&B feel at the end. To me. Poetry's really, really great at not only connecting to the material emotionally, but delivering things her own way. I feel like she really knows herself. She really allows herself to just live in the moment, experience each emotion, again for the first time when she's playing it for you, and allow those things to come naturally, but it's coming from a sincere place. And that's the biggest takeaway for me is honesty, connecting honestly. And what that means is you're not faking what you think you have to do in the moment. You are actually living in the moment and re-experiencing those lyrics for the first time every time. I have always appreciate you guys for hanging out with me and for teaching me all these new things. I hope you got some value out of this and I appreciate that we got to experience this together. I hope to see you next time.